so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Flippy! Hey, it's me, Flippy. <laughs> and today, we're here at the Children's Museum at La Habra in La Habra, California. And I am so excited. Whoa, <laughs> I almost tripped. You know what this is? <laughs> yeah, it's a footprint. A really, really big footprint. <laughs> hmm. Must have belonged to an animal, or maybe even a dinosaur. <laughs> hey, let's follow the footprints. Maybe we can see some animals and dinosaurs today. Come on! Whoa, check it out! It's a nest with dinosaur eggs. Ooh! <laughs> yeah, did you know that? A long time ago, dinosaurs would lay eggs and make nests. Kind of like a bird or a reptile. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, the nest would help keep the eggs all together and nice and safe. <laughs> but with every nest with eggs in it comes a mommy dinosaur. Whoa. <laughs> and this is a really big mommy dinosaur. It's called a Parasaurolophus. Whoa. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. These dinosaurs are amazing! Whoa! <laughs> the Parasaurolophus is part of the Hadrosaur family. Yeah, that means it's duck build. <laughs> and this Parasaurolophus looks like it's wearing some lipstick. <laughs> Ooh, you look very pretty. <laughs> Whoa, do you notice something? Yeah, there's a bone crest on the back of its head. It used to be able to make a honking sound, blowing air out of that. Honk, 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 honk. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa. Well, one other thing you should know is Parasaurolophus were very protective of their nest. Whoa, look at what it is. It's a Triceratops. Hello. <laughs> Do you know why this dinosaur is called a Triceratops? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's because it has three horns on its face. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, but don't worry. The Triceratops was an herbivore. That means it only ate plants. <laughs> the horns were only to defend itself and its family. <laughs> And Triceratops are so powerful, they could even protect themselves from the mighty T-Rex. <laughs> this Triceratops is really sweet and loves some pets and scratches. <laughs> Triceratops are also really, really big and really heavy. Whoa! They can be as big as a school bus. <laughs> and weigh up to five tons. Whoa! <laughs> well, I'll see you later. Bye-bye, Triceratops. <laughs> Have you ever wondered how we know what dinosaurs look like? <laughs> well, we learned by discovering fossils. <laughs> yeah, a fossil could be something like a bone, and it gives us clues to what a dinosaur would have really looked like. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. It looks like we're here at a dig site, and maybe we can discover a new dinosaur. <laughs> Whoa. Mirror. Yeah. See, I have a brush. Instead of using something like a shovel, people use brushes to discover fossils. <laughs> yeah, a brush is nice and gentle. So fuzzy, kind of bristly. And that's so the fossil doesn't get damaged. <laughs> okay, let's start finding some fossils. Whoa, I think I see something. Oh. Check it out! Oh, it's a dinosaur fossil! Whoa, 
Let's see if we can find another. <laughs> Whoa! We found one, two fossils. Whoa, <laughs> they're bones. <laughs> it's really fun looking for fossils. Yeah, and people who grow up and they learn about dinosaurs for their job, they're called paleontologists. <laughs> yeah, they are really good at studying dinosaurs. <laughs> I think we should keep looking. Whoa, I think we found a really big one. Brush, brush, brush. <laughs> it's so sandy. <laughs> but thanks to my brush, I'm not damaging the fossil. Mm -mm. Nope, just brushing away the sand. And then, <gasps> whoa, this is so cool. Yeah, a paleontologist who's discovered all these bones, but then put them together, kind of like a puzzle. And that's how we know what dinosaurs look like. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Silly. <laughs> Whoa! Hello, Mr. Cow. <laughs> Aw, such a sweet cow. Well, I've had so much fun learning about animals like dinosaurs that lived a really long time ago. <laughs> Do you know what animal this is? Yeah, these are two sheep. <laughs> Will you act like a sheep with me? Okay, they go like this. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> they like back scratches. Yeah, sheep are so nice. Hey, wait a minute. Cows, sheep, we must be on a farm. <laughs> Let's go see if we can find some other farm animals. Whoa, look at it. <laughs> it looks like it's a chicken coop. And chickens like to lay eggs. <laughs> Maybe we can find some eggs. Oh, look at it. <laughs> Some beautiful looking eggs laid by the chickens. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna take two for later. Thank you, chickens. <laughs> hey, and this, yeah, this is a rooster. Hmm. His name is Brewster <laughs> and we're really good friends. He's gonna come along with me today. <laughs> Let's keep exploring the farm. Whoa. Do you see what I see? It's a farmhouse. <laughs> and it looks like it's a farmhouse from a hundred years ago. Whoa, <laughs> a lot has changed in 100 years. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Let's go inside, and see what's changed, come on. Look at this place, it's so old. <laughs> whoa, and look at this. Do you know what this is? This is a really old phone. <laughs> Brewster, do you want to make a call? <laughs> it looks like that's a yes. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Brewster really likes to dock on the phone. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> This is an old sink. Well, today you just turn on the faucet. But with this, <laughs> a long time ago, a hundred years ago, you had to use this pump. And then you could fill up a cup for water or a bowl to boil some noodles. <laughs> Anything you need water for. Hey, what if you and I made some tasty lunch? <laughs> Now, while we're cooking our food, we need to set the table. Whoa, <laughs> check it out. This beautiful table with a beautiful tablecloth. Hmm. We're gonna need some mugs, <laughs> one for you, one for me, and <laughs> some plates. I think we're all ready to eat. <laughs> Ooh, this looks so tasty. 
Mmm, delicious. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Look at what's behind me. Ooh, <laughs> a nice cozy fireplace. Ah, so cozy. Hmm. <laughs> and a radio. <laughs> this radio is so old. Whoa. Yeah. Let's see if we can turn it on and listen to some music. <laughs> yeah, I love this song. I just love animals. And I really love dinosaurs. And one of my favorite dinosaurs is the T-Rex. Walk like a T-Rex. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Talk like a T-Rex. Roar, roar. Can you see? We're heavy stepping, stomping along the way. We do the walking T Rex every day. Isn't it so much fun pretending that we're a big, scary Tyrannosaurus Rex? Let's think of all the things they can do and let's copy the actions. Walk like a T Rex, stomp, stomp, stomp. Talk like a T Rex, roar. jaw with our hands we stretch our arms wide open that is the plan and then we snap them shut and open again it's so much fun when we are playing pretend <laughs> good job being a t-rex this is so much fun let's sing it again walk like a t-rex stomp stomp Pretty scary T-Rex. <laughs> that was really fun. <laughs> but now, I think I need a little bit of a break. Ooh, maybe we can take a break on the rocking chair. <laughs> <sighs> Whoa. Whoa. It looks like you could still have fun even a hundred years ago. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome! We saw so many animals and dinosaurs. We even got to see some fossils and learn what a paleontologist does. Whoa! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Blippi!